What is going on, guys? We are back with the Express Relocation Fantasy Draft Franchise. It is Week 16, your 11-3 guaranteed a playoff spot. And if we win this game, we are guaranteed a bye week as well, or even just a tie this game. Of course, Tariq Cohen injured himself last week. We have a, you know, starting to gather some injuries on this team, but of course, as long as Friedman, as long as Harrison, a lot of those guys, as long as those guys are all fine, should be fine ourselves. Also, maybe get some players back with that bye week. So this is a very big win if we can get it. Uh, or, like I said, a tie. Uh, even if we lose, I think as long as we win or tie the next game or everyone else loses, we're fine. Here are the wards, of course. Um, running back, we're obviously not going to get that. Uh, anything else? I think DB we were close. Yeah, D-line, DB, and kicker. Tree Cohen, of course, needs a contract. We've been holding on the whole season, but five-year, 30 mil deal, I think is well worth it. Offensive stats versus the two, we beat them by quite a bit, except for that turnover differential. We fumbled the ball a lot. I know I threw 15 picks, but that's not bad into week thir uh, 16 anyways. But we fumbled the ball quite a bit, and there's some, uh, some Panthers. Got it right this week, last week. Said it was the Jaguars, even though I, I don't know what I, I think last week I said it was the Panthers, and this week was supposed to be the Panthers, so I don't know what the hell that was all about. Also, you can tell this is a voiceover because uh, my audio uh, decided to be distorted. It was just really high, like the setting was really high for some reason, so it is what it is. We have uh, a nice voiceover. You guys, I know you guys love them voiceovers. Get a field goal there. I mean, it is nice because they get to react smarter to uh, the play. Ooh. Uh, injury timeout. Hopefully that's not Hunter. It isn't. Uh, but I can react to it because it's a lot easier to see it than when I'm playing Ross over the middle down to the 40-yard line. Down by three, but three points usually isn't enough to stop us. And Hunter getting a little bit of room. Look at him make moves and a face mask. Uh, Hunter's looking better than Cohen. Back-to-back -back weeks now over the middle. And wow. Zinger, nine and a half yards there. Second to goal, though, after the short gain for the first down. Freeman rolling left. Friedman looking and hurtling over players. Kind of. I mean, definitely would have got helicoptered there in real life. But Madden, they're gentlemen. They're nice to us. And there's this Gary guy who is their starting running back. I believe their starter is hurt. I don't know if it's David Johnson, but either that or David Johnson plays on every team. I, I don't even know. But pretty sure their starter is hurt. If not, they're, uh, they're a little desperate because that's their running back. Third and nine, huge gain over the middle, wide open. Literally, like, catches the ball, still not touched a couple seconds later. Oh, here comes the running back, getting popped, but he recovers. Receiver recovers to the 10-yard line, though. That's really tough to try and get in from. Unless you're them, who, uh, you know, easily get there. McKee, I was kind of locked in on Cam Newton, who was already running the ball several times. And there to the outside... Would have had Harrison open, but the blitz got through. Third and ten, start of the second quarter. Can we convert? Stepping up, getting caught and fumbling. Sadly, that's going to have to be a punt. Uh, first and ten, there goes Cam. Like I said, focus on Cam. Oh, big hit by Lone. Focus on Cam, but Cam's going to do what Cam does, no matter what you think. And there goes a little cut move on Obi Melifonwu. Absolutely broke my ankles there. Can't do anything about it, though. Up the middle. Nice little cutback, and he gains quite a bit. Ground game defense. Once again, as per usual, pretty porous. Third and three, though. Got a chance to get off the field. They're going to run it. And wow. What a play made. I yawned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not boring gameplay. I'm just really yawning today. I don't know. Third and one. Hunter. This is surely an easy play inside zone. Uh-oh. Hunter to the outside as room. Harrison gives him some space down to the 32-yard line. Hunter on three carries looking very, very good. Like I always say, once he gets the starting lineup job. Ooh. Damn. What a swat. Once he gets the starting lineup job, he's all right until Cohen gets back. Like, he doesn't never earns his spot. Oh, look at Harrison. Easy for the hurdle. Touchdown. Harrison getting on the board, obviously fighting for that number one wide receiver spot because he's obviously not going to get off. It's a rookie of the year. Finds an open receiver over the middle. That's going to be a first down. 48 seconds in the second. We're up by one. 
Can we keep him out of the end zone? And there we go, second and seven. Like I said, that sack from Nakla Mac. Miles Garrett, gonna try to use him here, and can we successfully do it? Get the pressure, but it's not enough, and he gets it over the middle, no, over the side anyways. Gets hit by Jabril, who could be the best DB in the league, and holds on, surprisingly, over the middle, and I miss it with Jabril. And that's a touchdown. Of course, we cannot score in the short time that they gave us. First and 10, and over the middle, he has Zach Harrison wide open for at least a 40-plus yard gain. Second and 10, Hunter getting some more room and falling forward for a 9.5 yard gain. Looking very strong on the ground so far. First and 10, trying to throw it, and uh-oh. That is a terrible decision. I just chucked it because I was under in trouble. I should have threw the fullback underneath. It was right there. Easy throw, easy decision. Third and 14, getting pressured. Lone is going to have to cut him off, and he does. Oh, a fumble. Ooh, Cam may have gotten away with kicking the ball out of bounds there. So we do have a pick on our record, but it's all right because it doesn't matter. We have the ball back. And Freeman on the read option for once gets some room. Uh-oh, the second level. Eric Reed, I believe, on the chase down. And Friedman's going to get his longest run of his career and probably will be his longest run of his career. 87 yards for Mr. Trey Friedman. What an amazing play. And here on third and six, we make the stop. So things are coming back our way. We're up by one. We have the ball. Nothing can stop us at this point, except for a sack that will force us to punt the ball. Fourth and seven. We're going with the fake, the punter. Josh Jones drops the ball. He's not the Packers, Josh Jones. He's a lot less talented, but he should have had that. Look at Cam Newton run. Look at Cam Newton run. Oh, my Cam. No. Down to the nine-yard line. What an insane run there. I mean, that's one of the greatest quarterback efforts on a ground play ever. I mean, Freeman had a nice run on the read option, but he didn't throw anyone around. He just followed his blocks. And on the run commit, we stopped them. So... They will be going up by th two anyways. Enough. It's on four-point field goal. Up by two anyways, but still gives us a chance to try and score ourselves. Hunter getting another first down. There is an injury timeout. Who is that going to be? And it is Gordon Hunter. So uh, Pumphrey in for him. Uh-oh, Zay Jones wide open on the streak. Celebrating kind of early. Almost Deshaun it, but still gets in the end zone, giving us the lead by five. Six minutes left in the fourth. A little bit of a seesaw battle here. And on third and three, we come up with another stop. Trying to slow down that ground game. And we're doing a decent job of it, especially when the downs matter. Third and 11. Friedman rolling left, looking for room. He gets some room with that playmaker and falling forward for the first down. 13-yard gain. First and 10 for the 40-yard line. About four minutes left. Uh-oh. Did they do it again? Zay Jones cannot outrun them but he still gains a huge amount of yards all the way down to the 8 yard line first and goal from the 8 yard line up by 5, pump free easy lane touchdown and just like that we're up 2 possessions always finishing strong we are and trying to keep that the same here and Cam Newton once again taking off look at the spin, has all the room in the world he's really dangerous because he doesn't fumble like ever so his running is just complete danger city. And look at the throws. He puts the dimes on. It's never over until it's physically over. So not going to take Cam and his ability too lightly. Miles Garrett. And there we go. It's a fumble recovered by us. And nobody is going to catch us. Olsen is going to walk. Pretty much walk into the end zone celebrating for the score. And, I mean, let's be honest. That's the dagger. 40, was it 42 to 23, I believe? It was a close, close game. All the way until like the mid fourth, kind of near the end of the fourth, just like that. I mean, anything can happen. It could have went the other way, and we could have lost there, putting the season not really in jeopardy, but the bye week in jeopardy. But instead, we do hold out an amazing fourth quarter, 21 points to their three points. Obviously, that's the huge reason that we came out of nowhere and won late. It was a very close game, and honestly looked like it was in their favor for a while. Friedman kind of took over the game on the ground, which is kind of shocking. I mean, he usually gets a couple, you know, first down runs in a match, but 87 yards for Friedman. 
I don't think he's ever going to top that. He's at 86 speed. I thought maybe even 30 yards was out of the out of the question because usually when we run a read option, it goes nowhere. It's usually a yard or two or we hand it to the running back. But there it worked. And for once, we actually beat our opponent in rushing yards, even though they actually had a pretty good game themselves. Cam probably ran for almost 100 yards himself. Let's take a look at that in a moment. Freeman, though, had a pretty damn baller game other than my stupid decision. Yeah, look at Cam over 100. Same with Freeman, the quarterbacks, getting it done on the ground. But, hey, that was an insane game. Final week going against the Browns, who are also a playoff contender. So can we get 13 wins on the season? We'll see. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.